So remember, this is the GIS, right? There's a G part, which is the map. The I part is the information behind the map. And then the S part brings them together. Marshall talked about systems. GIS is a great example of a system. There, there are lots of things going on here, right? There's the symbology, there's a classification method that's going on that's behind the scenes. Do you have power or in this tool at the moment to change the classification system? No, you're stuck with, with as it is. And if you change the classification system, right, you might see a bit of a different pattern, right? If you, if you made it on like equal area or, or a quantile or a standard deviation classification, it would, look, it would look different than this kind of classification. At, still at the county level, I'm going to look down here at Texas. And just like in other states, I can see that it is not all created equal. Now, when you and I look at this, we see Texas. Would a 10-year-old see Texas out of, out of the county data, you think? Maybe not. So maybe it would be nice to have a, another map layer. Ooh! So later on, we're going to do that. I want to start pretty simply, though, not gonna, but just recognize that you could add another map layer that would actually have a uh, you know, state outline and cities and that sort of thing. We'll do that later on before we split up today. Okay, so uh, anyway, back on Texas though, we can see that, ooh, the hill country, interesting. Hmm, look at the panhandle. Even that is not created equal. Gosh, what's going on? Look at this county up in Oklahoma. What's going on here? Hmm, there are certain counties that stand out as a kind of panorama Midwest. Why is that? There's a couple reasons going on. Noticeable outliers. What's another factor that would pull down the median age at, at a county level? Ah, military base. What's another one? A prison. Yeah, absolutely. What's the, what's the third major one that would pull down the median age? Ah, university. Uh -huh. So here, oh gosh, it's Douglas County, Kansas. It's the home of the University of Kansas. Anyway, well, why don't we see some of those patterns in some of the counties in Texas? Well, there's there's other factors, right, going on. Certain counties, a, the bulk, right, a large part, a large percentage of the county population is actually the university population. But in other counties, that's not the case, right? So you can get your students to think about, okay, yeah, up in here in Alden County, Wyoming, show them some ground images, change the base map to a satellite image, and look at the rural population there in Albany County. It's pretty much, you guys with me? Yeah. Right? Uh, when you get out of Laramie, it's pretty much just like one ranch every 10 miles. So the population is largely in Laramie, and many of the people in Laramie are tied to the University of Wyoming in some way or another, and therefore it drags down the median age. 